Okay, this is the finished image from the grungy text effect downloadable video that I did. And as you can see, it's looking pretty grungy. We got some nice sort of uh, dropping, floating text, whatever it's called here. You can see it's a matrix style one. There's another one in the background. We look at covering those as well as this text effect that we've produced here. Got a grungy look. And when I looked at this, I suddenly thought, right, how would you finish this off with some sort of border or frame? And I initially thought just to perhaps a white stroke border going around it, just hold everything in. Then I received an email asking how I did the thumbnails on my site. And on the site, I've got to tend to use these reflection style thumbnails. And I thought, hang on a second, could work pretty well for this image as well. So let's take a look. We're going to come to the layers panel here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this background layer twice. So on a PC, you'd use Control J. That's Control J. On a Mac, it's Command J twice, duplicating the background layer there to give ourselves a little bit more space. I've got the hand tool selected, so I'm just going to press the Alt or the Option key to zoom out a little bit. And for the next stage, we're going to go to Image, Canvas Size. Now with Canvas Size, just ensure that the Relative button here is ticked. Swiping across in the height only, we're going to put in 100. Inches, it doesn't matter what dimensions you are using, can be any of these, change it to percent. Now the way things are looking now with the anchor point here, it's going to give us 50% to the top and 50% to the bottom. But by clicking on the top center one here, this is the top center anchor point, it's now going to add it to the bottom only. Doesn't really matter what the color is, click OK to that. And you can see there is our sort of added canvas right the way down. Again, just zooming out so we can see it. It's added the exact size to the bottom. Right, coming along to the top layer here, we're going to use Command or Control T for the Transform tool. Drag in hold of it, or even grab in and drag in it down to the bottom. That'll do nicely. Let's zoom in a little bit as well. So in we pop to this sort of area here. That looks pretty good. So just move it across as well. There's the Transform tool. With the Transform tool still on it, I'm just going to use the down arrow on the keyboard once. And you can see it just nudges it down slightly, pressing Enter or Return just gives a little bit of a gap between the top image and the bottom image. While we're working on this, on layer one copy, we're going to put in a layer mask in it pops. Coming across the toolbox, we've got black as our foreground color. We're going to pick up the gradient tool and we've got the linear gradient selected. That's the first little one here coming into the image. Round about this sort of area and I'm going to press and hold down shift on the keyboard, just lifting it up like so till we get to the top of the reflection or the bottom of the other one and in it pops. Great stuff. At this stage now we can actually get rid of the background layer and you can see we've got a clear transparent area. There's the little gap we produced. Zoom in out using Alter Option Spacebar. Now for the next stage we need to trim this down. Now one thing, if we just come to View, if we go to Show, you'll notice I'm using Smart Guides. Find these particularly useful for example, let me show you now with the crop tool, as soon as I drag it over, there are those purple lines. When I come across, it's now showing me the center of the image. And as I drag this down, you'll notice the top line decreasing in size. This is going to come down to that area there, which is the center point of this bottom part. But it's going to give a nice transition. If I just double click to apply, the scaling is pretty good as well. So we'll leave that as is. Right, let's zoom in so we can see what's going on. For the next stage, I want to add a background to this. This is the background I've selected. It's actually one of those, uh, you go along to Google and you type in textures. It's amazing what you come across. This is the one I chose. It looks a little bit like concrete with uh, your flash on the camera gone off, giving this effect there. If you're out with the camera, you see some interesting textures, whether it be on the pavements, in brickwork, whatever, take them. You never know when they're going to come in handy, even on a wet, miserable day like this. So there it is. Uh, picking up the Move tool. In CS4, I'm going to click down, hold it down. Any other version of Photoshop where you've got your floating windows, just click down, hold it down. But in CS4, lift it up and you can see the triangle there come up. There it is. Click on this tab. We're now onto this image. You can still see that rectangle there. Drop it in. It's arrived, lifting it into position. You can see the smart guides popping up there as well. She's looking a bit shy there, but not going to worry. Command or Control T. And we're now going to drag and fill that image with this, pressing Enter or Return. OK, let's grab hold of layer 2. Let's drop it. Just going to click on it, drop it to the bottom of the layer stack 
it's now arrived. Looks pretty good, not keen on the colour though, it uh, doesn't really sort of work with the image, just open it up a little bit. So we're going to come down, it's going to be off the screen but I'm going to go for Hue Saturation and we're going to click Colorize. You'll notice it immediately goes to the red colour there. If we move this across, coming into that sort of colour, it's going to go slightly into the blues as well, perhaps just take the saturation down a little bit more just darken it down as well. You can see what's happening there, just darken it down a touch or two. Looks pretty good, but again this is adjustable because it's an adjustment layer. Right, come into layer 1. Going to press and hold Command or Control and click on layer 1 copy there, so these are both now selected. Going to use Command or Control T. Now that's the Transform tool. I'm going to hold down Shift on the keyboard, and by holding down Shift, you just ensure you click, you sort of keep the correct proportion. So we're going to drag it down to that area there, and just going to lift it up and position it. And just going to press Enter or Return. They're both still selected. So with the Move tool, just going to move it around a little bit. You can see it's going to the edges. So I'm just going to reduce it a little bit more, something like that, and just move it that's better there into position great stuff right at this stage now I'm just gonna take a small crop off the bottom so just dragging this round to that area like that would be pretty good keeps it in nicely if we come to this layer here now so I've just clicked on this image layer there I'm just gonna reduce this down just taking the opacity down to about 80 percent so you can just see some of the background coming through that looks good. Talking to the background, those two little spots there are annoying me, so I'm just going to press Alt or Option just to switch the rest of the layers off. Clicking on this, picking up the Patch tool, just going to get rid of that spot there and that spot there. That one while I'm at it, <laughs> that could be a problem as well. So just any just distractions, just get rid of them like so. Just switching the layers back on again. Just pressing on this eyeball here and pressing the Alt or the Option key switches those layers on and off like that. There you are, there's the finished image, a little bit of a different way to present your pictures, a bit more of a grungy effect to it, a reflection style grungy effect. Let's open it up. I'm just going to press the Tab key to remove all the tools and we're going to pop this, not on that, we're going to pop this onto stay. Thank you, a black background. There is our finished image. Go along, take a look at the website, it's www.davro-digital.com, you'll find the full downloadable video there as well, and until the next time, happy imaging, and take care.